Um, and I think, John, you might be able to speak to this a little bit as well, uh, since I know that outside in serves this population as well. How does Cover Oregon reflect access to insurance for undocumented populations? So I wish one of my policy folks, colleagues, was here. Um, but I believe that there are even uh, coverage options for undocumented people on the exchange. So there's a, a program called COWIM, which is citizen, citizen alien, yeah. But so COWIM is citizen alien. Emergency medical. Wage of emergency yeah. medical. And it covers, it's like emergency care for undocumented people. And then there's COWIM Plus, which covers undocumented pregnant women through um, delivery. So the exchange is also an avenue to that coverage. I think the downside of Callum, though it, it's wonderful that it has that it is that it even exists. I think is is amazing, and that, and that it um, I believe it, it has expanded recently or, or become yeah. So I think that is wonderful too. But it, it is mostly emergency care, right? So so it's. It's basically you go to the emergency room and you get your care at the emergency room, and um, and uh, and that's not you know patient-centered care. That's not uh, so you know that's probably also going to be one of the roles of the safety net to deal with um, people who don't have access uh, to cover Oregon. So I, I can see that as being an area that perhaps we'll see some expansion. There there are a number of health centers that already, outside NC is um, about 11% uh, of our population are um, undocumented uh, patients. Um, but there are other centers like Virginia Garcia or uh, Yakima Valley Farm Workers who runs the Rosewood Clinic. They have some extensive programs serving undocumented. So uh, that's what I see as being the future. Thank you. Also, for folks who work with undocumented people, um, there's a, a program called COWM, which is basically emergency care for undocumented folks. Um, that's accessible also through this portal. 